Well, there's been a harsh overreaction, in my view, to the COVID pandemic around the world. Um, some say, in some cases, it's been very authoritarian, and I'm talking about in free societies, westernized societies. I shared a couple weeks ago about Australia. Uh, police were actually swarming and uh, arresting people who were protesting the mandates because they were out of their homes. They weren't allowed to be out of their homes. Um, we're seeing that in Austria. They have instituted a lockdown for the unvaccinated. And I saw a report this morning that Germany is doing the same thing um, with police check-ins to make sure people are staying in their homes. This is happening in France, Belgium, uh, Greece, and, and a lot of other areas around the world. It's impacting the entire world. And my concern is this. It's a very fear-based approach to a very serious problem. COVID is a serious disease. I'm not going to say it isn't. It is. But the good news is also is that around 98, 99% of people that contract it survive very well. Um, my concern is the fear-based approach is obsession so much with vaccines that we don't consider how to take care of people in other ways. Right. I like what actually the uh, Florida Surgeon General said. He said, let's stop the fear-based approach. Vaccines are a great way to um, protect against COVID. But you know what else is, he said? Immunity taking care of yourself. And on that point, there are many reports out right now saying that immunity is just as good, if not better, than um, vaccines. So this is uh, something we need to focus on in our own country. Because right. like you just mentioned here in the United States, uh, Biden has done an unprecedented move with these federal mandates for vaccinations. Um, the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals actually jammed him on that. And what did the White House do, though? Do you remember? They came out and told companies to go ahead and institute it anyway. Talk about authoritarian. Last time I looked, this is still the United States of America. And the Constitution is the law of our land, not our administration. And I think Americans are, are you know, they are pushing back against right. these mandates. And I, I, they know what the Constitution guarantees.